Hey guys, how are you? So I'm outside um, in my backyard right now. I'm it's a Sunday afternoon and I am trying to get some uh, trimming done and all that kind of business um, because uh, yard cleanup, this is the time. So today I'm actually gonna um, tackle some Nepeta that has, I didn't, I guess when I planted it, I didn't realize what a huge uh, plant it would turn into once it was uh, in the ground. And so I wanna show you what it looks like now. Oh my goodness, all of this right here. So it gets really, really huge. This Nepeta is totally overshadowing. Ah, I gotta get that out of there. I've got all these beautiful tulips that wanna come up, but they're shrouded in the overgrowth of last year's Nepeta. So what I also wanna do is I, I wanna cut it back, of course, but then I also wanna transplant um, a lot of it because this bed was just overgrown with the nepeta and you know i want to put them as companion plants to some new roses that i put in last year um that kind of thing so and i also have it over here in this bed so i have lots of cleanup to do but here's my great big one right here and then of course there's a great big tube going across to get rid of any water that comes along because we do we have been getting a lot of rain and then i also have this carpet of weed oh, it's been the bane of my existence for two years now and you know you can see it it just goes everywhere because it's its roots are lateral and it's almost impossible to eradicate it is so bad so any suggestions on getting rid of it put it in the comments below because I am at my wits end with this thing. This time of year is really good to dig because it's not quite so hard with the exception of all the rocks that we have. Uh, rocks make it so impossible, but we'll see if we can get it done today. If not, eh, I might have to, uh, you know, get some help. So we'll see, but um, that's the plan for this afternoon while the kids are asleep and uh, hopefully I can get a majority of it done before that ends. So here we go. So you can see right here, once you cut it back, all this new growth that's coming up. You know, I suppose you can cut it back in the fall, but I leave it up for little critters, a place for them to hide or whatever in the winter months and stuff. But anyway, so basically you can see your plant and where you need to dig in order to get get them transplanted and it's fine if they're transplanted once they've started coming up like this so i'll probably leave one just so that i have enough room to put in some more beautiful things maybe a couple more rose bushes it's a it's a small plant that will give really big impact so if that's all you want go for it i love to put all different things in in my flower beds so I want more room to do that so as companion plants to roses it's really pretty to put in like a salvia or a nepeta something uh, purple in color or that blue or even um, lavender is a really great companion plant as well so yeah there's lots of choices as far as where I can put these now which you know, until we had this fence, I, I really didn't want to put any gardens around here because I needed to know where the fence was going exactly. So I finally get an afternoon to get it all done. I'm so happy. I just wish I had more time. Anyway, um, this is a new garden bed uh, that we created in the fall. Here. Hopefully get any air pockets out of there. Good. All right, well, that's it for me for today. Whew. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some uh, desire to go out and change up your garden, maybe. I hope you're having a great day. Enjoy the weather, uh, enjoy your garden, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.